Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This is a review stroke range test of the Radio Master R81 receiver. Now, Radio Master kindly supplied me with a sample of each of their receivers, so I'm going to run these all through my test. Now, I'm going to read off the R81 specs from the website so that you can know exactly what it is. It's a D8 Nano S bus receiver, it's got eight channels, um, the input voltage is 4.5 to 6 volts. Um, its output format is SBUS, its RSSI is on channel 9, and it weighs 2 grams. So, let's uh, take it out of the packet. I'm going to solder it up so that I can put it onto my test rig, and then we will do the first penetration test where I walk away with the radio, waiting, uh, beg your pardon, I walk away with the receiver and wait for a fail safe, and then I will do the second penetration test when I'm looking for the RSSI warnings. Now let's do the penetration test when I'm looking for the RSSI warnings for the Radio Master R81 Nano receiver. Now I am still using the T16 for these tests because all the other receivers that I've tested have used this radio, so I must use the same equipment. So let's go. My trusted wheelie measurer. Okay, first RSSI low warning was at 26.4 meters. RSSI low. RSSI low. RSSI critical. Okay, the first RSSI critical warning was at 52.7 meters. Okay, the telemetry was lost at 86.3 meters. What I like is the fact that it was giving plenty of warnings that it was going, it was losing signal, which is a nice characteristic of a receiver. Now let's do the test on the Radio Master R81 nano receiver to see when we get a fail safe when our LED goes out. Uh, luckily, there's a nice clear LED on this receiver. So let's go. There appears to be micro fail safe, so I'm not sure if you would still be able to be flying at this distance, which is 76.5 meters, but it's the LED is still on. Now we're getting what looks like a lot of micro fail safes at 86.3, uh, 95.5. Um, I'm hoping you can see what's happening to the LED so you can make up your own mind about the receiver. Let me carry on going. That will, that's definitely fail safing now. Yep. Continuous fail safe at 104.4 meters. And it's completely fail safed, but we were losing signal uh, w within the last 20 meters. Now let me go through the range testing that I did for the R81 receiver. Now at 500 meters, uh, everything was good. The receiver connected and I got telemetry back to the radio. Now, the more trickier 585 meter mark where there are trees and the building in between the receiver and the uh, transmitter, there was, it did not connect and there was no telemetry. At 1,000 meters, at one kilometer, it did connect and there was telemetry coming back and you'll see that telemetry in the uh, data that I'll put up on screen. 
And then I moved on to the 2000 meter mark where there was, it was foul safing and connecting and foul safing, connecting and foul safing, foul safing. So it wasn't continuously connected. I did get telemetry back uh, to the radio. So it was connecting, but it was, the LED was flashing. So I would say that it's not possible for it to go that far. But in the manual that comes with the receiver, they say it's uh, one kilometer plus. So this receiver is definitely working within the range that uh, Radio Master have said. Now let's take a look at the data. Now to the review part of this video. The Radio Master R81 Nano Receiver, it comes with a servo style plug, which I soldered on so that I could uh, put it to, onto my test rig. Uh, but if I was putting in a quad, I would probably not use this. I would solder it directly to the flight controller. It has two antennas, but I'm sure this is not true diversity. It's just two antennas. And you get a little piece of heat shrink to protect the receiver once you've installed it. It bound very easily. There was no problem with the binding. Uh, you've got a bind button. It's no normal procedures for binding it. And it, from the test, if you look at my test results, it, it definitely is going as far as they say in the manual. Now the manual states here, control distance more than one kilometre. And at one kilometre, it was fine. If you have a look at the um, re uh, telemetry readings that I got, you'll see that everything was good. So I, I, I feel this is a, a good receiver and I'm looking forward to you know, someone putting this into a quadcopter and flying it. Thank you to Radio Master for supplying the R81 for review and thank you for you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below because I'd love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye bye.